Hi, it's Faces Tech, another game related project today. Um, this is an update to my previous one, uh, Zero Control, which was an Arduino uh, Pro Micro uh, connected to 12 buttons, uh, LNR included. Um, this was quite, uh, quite a nice project, and I thought, wait a minute, where's the analog sticks? So I chucked the design out. Well, I didn't actually chuck the design out, I actually stretched the design out in KiCad, uh, added some analog sticks. These are like weird analog sticks. They claim to be PlayStation ones, PSP ones, um, but I've, they, they just do not, um, any version do not use these. They've got like three pins to them, um, which is basically power, uh, analog, and ground uh, on each axis. Um, it's a pain in the arse to get caps from. These are actual PSP 2000, I think, caps. Um, but I also had to like kind of drill them out a little bit at the back uh, with like an ape drill. There's like little um, fins, you know, to attach to a... Uh, so the header normally, but I basically um, drilled out these fins just by hand. Uh, I uh, applied a dab of glue and then uh, attached to them, and it works quite well, really. Because um, I was going to use, uh, I think it was PS4 um, tops for it, but they were too tall, like you couldn't get to the buttons, so it didn't really work out well. But yeah, they also use these analog sticks in, I think it's the Adafruit Joy Bonnet. Um, but yeah, I don't know where else they use them in, but the on if I express they claim to be PSP sticks, but they're not. Uh, they just like slide like they are. But anyway, um, yeah. So this one, I um, copied the code from uh, Tinkerboy, um, uh, the Tinkerboy uh, all-in-one um, thing for the Game Boy, which uh, you can basically turn your Game Boy into a Raspberry Pi, and has like a, a board similar to this, but has like the contacts for the carbon. Uh, silicone pads. Uh, also has like a bit in the code for an analog stick. Uh, so I uncommit the code, add the analog stick. Uh, but you're probably wondering where this analog stick is. Well, I'm not big at code. I looked at the code and I thought I'll duplicate these bits and bobs, um, and then I can just add another analog stick. But it basically just uh, duplicated the analog stick to both of them. I looked at the joystick library, uh, joystick Arduino library, to get some hints at how to add two analog sticks, but code it was just too complicated I just did not understand how it works I'm more of a copy and paste jockey myself but uh, yeah so anyway I'll show you what this how it's like because it runs but to be honest most PSP uh, most PlayStation games only use the d-pad uh, and the ones that do have analog stick you could probably get rid of one and uh, in Nintendo 64 you need one analog stick so you can kind of get away with just having one but um, I'll show you this running on this on my kind of um, really uh, this is kind of like an upcoming project that I've kind of got I've kind of got going on oops oh no let's see if we can prop this up here uh, I'll show you Nintendo 64 first show you that it does work oh so I'm going to use Super Mario 64 I haven't sorted the sound circuit on this so it does sound really rough <clears throat> just doing a bit of um, beta testing with this setup it's actually the screen that I used on my um, Retro Zero. Wow, that is really loud. Let me just disconnect the speaker there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, can I get them play this? I think if I just load. There we go. And as you can see, it works. It works quite well, really. Uh, it works quite. It's not bad, these uh, analog. These are uh, analog sticks that slide. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'll show you um, a PSP PlayStation game. Can't think of any of that. Uh, oh, yeah, this driver won't know it. Uh, Tony Hawk's one that kind of uses. You can use both. You can use the D pad and the analog stick. Actually, runs, uh, PlayStation runs better on the Metro Pi. Than and 1064 does, but you can see it just runs. It's nice. Actually, runs really well this game. Yeah, and you can just use uh, the D-pad if you want as well. In this game, it's probably easier to use the D-pad. Yeah, I'm not very good at this watching it through the camera. But yeah, there you go. It's um, as usual in the, in the description, there'll be a blog post um, with a bit more info with files and um, Gerbers and stuff and where to get the stuff from. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.